Okay, um, intermission time between uh, the last vid I posted and the next one I'm going to post. Um, I'm not feeling real good today, so um, anyway, basically I just wanted to explain my experience with uh, seizures. Um, and I really don't want to go here, but I guess I will. Uh, I got married June 6, 1987. My oldest son was born in February 21st, 1988. And he was good from February to October of uh, 88. And then he started having seizures. And uh, I was down in Panama at the time and La 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 la. Um, we went through this three times when I was down there, and I kept returning down there with the wife and the son. And uh, they couldn't figure out what it was, and they called it epilepsy. Well, the definition of epilepsy is reoccurring seizures with no known cause. So yes, I have uh, quite a bit of experience with epilepsy and beginning stages and stuff like that. So when Mike told me that uh, he was going in because he was starting to have seizures. Not starting. He had been having seizures for like six, eight months. Um, I started to explain to him what to expect. First thing they're going to do is an, an electroencephalogram. Then the next thing they're going to do is an MRI. And if you have a full head hair with the EEG, electroencephalogram, they'll cut little patches out of your hair so they can stick these things on your head. So they can get, I don't know, brain electricity or whatever it is they're looking for. I'm not a doctor, I don't know, but that's how it works. And what we ended up doing with my son because they did that so many times it was just like his head looked like a patchwork and I just went, you know, this is Bullshit. So, I shaved his head. Yeah, I did. So, part of the reason for this. Um, so when he told me that and I explained it all to him. How it's going to work. What he's going to go through. He was like, uh... He was basically like, uh, fuck it, just, well, I'll have to get my head shaved, and I said, we can do that right here, because at the Boston Knuckle, we take care of each other, I really like the guy, and he's like, man, I ain't ready for that. So the other guys heard it, and uh, 
isn't that impressive. So, the other guys heard it and Nobody pushed him into uh, shaving his head, cutting his hair. Nobody pushed him into that. I just was telling him what to expect. And uh, that's how this all came about. And uh, I really, I really, really. I feel bad for him. I don't. I don't know how to explain to anybody how to deal with epilepsy. Um, all you have to do to me is say seizure, and I get. I get very protective of the individual if they have that. And I try to inform them as much as I can. What to expect, what, 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 what. Yeah. Reoccurring seizures, no known cause. No, this ain't a plea to uh, send money to the epilepsy dot org or whatever. It's just, it's just life to me. It's just life to me. I've, I've been there. I've experienced it. And it sucks ass. It really does. I think I've gone too long on this video, so this is the intermission, and the next part's going to be uh, me shaving his head for him. So, liquid courage part two. Basically, that's what it's going to be because it's not easy to do this. I mean. You got a full head of hair? Why in the hell do you want to shave your head? Me? I only got it on the sides. I If I grow my hair out, I look like Mr. Whipple. Want to buy some Charmin? <laughs> Alright, later.